hindi siya healthy. Period. Wala nang pinag-uusapan doon. Ang kagandahan lang sa smoking kasi uh, reversible yung effect niya. Okay? Until such a time na pag sumobra na, like if there is permanent damage, yun na yung hindi na mababalik. Okay? So kung kunyari sumusubok-subok pa lang, three sticks, five sticks, may mga iba nagsasabi, ano ko lang to, doktore, pagkatapos ko kumain, one stick lang pang pababa daw ng kinain. So pag ganon, sinasabi ko, good. Kasi hindi ka pa addicted. No? Hindi pa nag-work yung nicotine sa'yo, which is the one that uh, gives the addictive effect. That means you can still stop it. So, stop. Diba? Ang medyo mas mahirap, yung mga medyo lulung na, diba? yung 10 sticks, ano, pag tumitigal sila, na, nanginginig sila. So, sa so mga yon, medyo mas marami interventions. But for the, uh, yung mga light smoker, please stop. No? It's not enough that you're taking all these supplements to promote your health. Tapos, uh, parang, parang you feel like you can do this kasi ginagawa ko naman to. No, as countermeasure. Okay lang mag-smoke kasi nagjo-jogging naman ako every day. Healthy naman yung food ko. Nagte-take naman ako ng vitamin supplements. No, it's not, no. In terms of drinking naman, it depends on what you're drinking. So meron naman siyang safe levels, no. So just stay within the safe levels sa uh, pag-inom ng alcohol, then we should be okay. But the smoking there is no safe level. Okay, so stop. Please. And then, isa pang sinasabi ko dyan, we have second-hand smoke. No? Ang second-hand smoke is, naninigarilyo, ako naninigarilyo, na-expose kita. That's second-hand smoke, which is more dangerous. Kasi pagbuga mo, all the toxins na bubuga. Okay? And then there is third-hand smoke. Yun yung hindi natin masyado alam. Pero it is present and it is real and it has also bad effects. Naninigarilyo sa banyo. Usually yan yan, yan di ba? Naninigarilyo sa banyo. Umalis kayo. Pero yung toxins na yun, naiwan yun doon sa banyo. And then papasok yung anak mo kasi maliligo siya. So naabsorb niya lahat ng toxins. So that's third-hand smoke and that's also dangerous. Okay? So yun naman yung pakiusap ko sa inyo. It's not enough that you are taking all these nutrients para ma-justify yung unhealthy habits. Okay? And then the Q green, um, the best source of protein, amino acids, and minerals. Pero actually, isa pang gusto ko dyan sa Q green na yan, it has selenium which boosts the sperm count. No? So, yung mga lalaki na medyo hirap, makabuo. Mm. <laughs> Oo. Yan. <laughs> oh, alam na. <laughs> okay, kasi it has selenium, no ba? which boosts the um, sperm quality. Okay, kasi yung sperm nga, isa lang ang kailangan para maka-fertilize ng itlog. But you have to have about 120 million sperm. And they have to be forward moving. And they have to be normal looking. Kasi meron mga pasyente may sperm. Pero dalawa buntot, malaki masyado ulo, maiksi ang, mas, maiksi ang neck. May neck kasi ang sperm. So, hindi yon Hindi pwede yon Tapos, meron namang iba, gumagalaw nga. Pero kahit saan, haphazard. Kailangan forward moving. So, you have to have, hindi lang yung dami. No? Not just the number. But you also need quality sperm. So, selenium would improve that. Meron sa Q-Green. O, oh, ba Oh, promote niya yan sa mga gustong magkaanak. <laughs> okay, and then last, Miramin Q+, kailangan din ni Daddy because this is the complete package already. Okay? It detoxifies, boosts the immune system, improves health. So this is also, ano, kumbaga this is the standard. Okay, so to review, these are the ingredients that we keep on uh, promoting. No? The calcium montmorillonite, as I've said, is a toxin magnet. It also helps among certain cancers. No? Liver cancer, yun na study nila. And then the zeolite, another master detoxifier. The ful fulvic acid, which is the intelligent molecule, namimili siya kung ano yung kukunin niya and to dispose. No? 
and then ascorbic acid which is also a very good vitamin ang kagandahan sa ascorbic acid very low ang chances na mag ano na magkaroon ka ng toxicity yung ma-overdose ka sa vitamin C because vitamin C is water soluble as long as you take in enough water yung sobra ng vitamin C na iniinom mo pwede lang siyang humalo doon sa tubig and then naiihi mo lang yan eh okay so it's very very rare to have someone say na na-overdose siya with the vitamin C okay to keep that energetic and mentally active the whole day, give him his favorite coffee or drink with Miramin Q plus drops. Okay? <laughs> Ay, balik pa. Okay. <laughs> okay. So again, as we've discussed, family planning is not only about thinking how many children we are going to give birth in this world. The true family planning is taking the steps to ensure that every family member is considered careful to live a healthy, quality, long life. Okay? Okay, each family member has a specific role in the family. Okay? And Q Dynamics Global also. Uh, is backing us up with excellent sources of nutrients in supplement form to maintain the health of each member of our family. Okay, good afternoon. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Doc Carmel, for that fantastic product training. Aside from the family planning and reproductive health topic, Right now, we are going to have, of course, our raffle for five winners of the lifestyle items. Five winners of the lifestyle items. Parang hindi yata nakita kasi walang nagtilian. Maya-maya lang, pwede na natin ma-view yan ha. Hindi yata natin napakita. Anyways, going back again. Can we give a warm round of applause for that excellent lecture? No other than from our resource speaker. Napakaganda. Okay. Dr. Carmel Linsangan. Grabe. Marami pa kayong natutunan. Siyempre, palagi naman. Hitik na hitik. Alam nyo kung bakit? That's actually the mastery of our resource speaker. Yan po talaga ang expertise niya. Kaya ang galing-galing niya dyan. At lalo nating masusubukan yan. Kasi nandito na tayo sa Q&A. Pero siyempre, meron akong bisita aside from Doc Carmel. Meron po tayong kasama dito. Kasi inimbitahan ko si Miss Annie para makatulong. Siya po ang magbabasa ng mga selected questionnaires ngayong hapon. Go ahead, Miss Annie! Okay, hello! Good morning! Good morning! Ayan, ako ang dakilang tagabasa ng inyong mga tanong. So, okay, simulan na natin. Unang tanong from Miss Carmelita Mendoza. Hello, uh, guys! Hello! Ayan. Ayan. Are you listening? Yeah. Okay, handa okay. na ba kayong makinig? Yeah. Okay, going back. Okay. Um, normal po ba ang isang baby na ipinanganak na hindi pa totally complete ang gums? Gums? 
Iya, gums. Uh, Alam ko, well, hindi pa kompleto ang ipin. <laughs> no, no. Ang gums has to be complete. No? Yung, di ba yung taas, no? harap at baba, it has to be complete. May mga babies na pag pinanganak sila, may ngipin. Pero actually, these are just uh, teeth na, uh, temporary teeth na mawawala din. Pero the gums has to be complete. Ngayon, kung incomplete yung gums, kasi meron tayong incomplete na cleft palate, no? Kasi minsan, buo yung labas, pero yung loob yung hindi buo. So that needs to be seen by a specialist and that needs to be corrected. Yung mga break sa gums, pagka siguro yan nakita niya sa ngalangala. No? So pag may break tayo sa ngalangala, yung baby sa ngalangala, pag dumede kasi yan, yung milk, pwedeng umakyat doon, tapos mag-choke yung baby. So, kailangan yun talagang, nila, meron silang nilalagay na temporary, para siyang retainer, na ilalagay lang dito, pangharang, and then eventually, it has to be corrected. Ma-affect din kasi yung speech. So, yung mga breaks na yan, it has to be corrected before two years old. No? Bago magsimulang magsalita yung baby. Kasi pag nag, natuto na siyang magsalita, Minsan napapansin niyo parang ano din siya magsalta. Yung pangit. Kasi ang ginagawa niya to form the sounds, yung dila niya, itataas niya to meet that gap no para makaform siya ng some sounds. Kaya minsan uh, pangit yung speech ng bata. Para siyang nagsasalita na gaya nung parang ngongo siya magsalita. No? Some words cannot be formed properly. So yun, dapat check. So hindi yun normal? Uh, hindi normal. Pero Doc, ang magandang follow-up question lang, no? Paano natin may iwasan yung mga ganun? Ah, it is also parang uh, form of birth defect, no? It is also related do sa pag-form ng cleft palate. Yung cleft palate, yung bingot, no? So, uh, yung, usually ang defect na yon is caused by a deficiency in folic acid. Yun, so, so, dapat talaga, ano siya, uh, well, uh, well, nourish yung mommy. And then, in terms of the nourishment, no, uh, marami din kasi akong patients who come in to me pag malaki na yung pregnancy nila. Actually, the nourishment has to start three months bago mabuntis. Kaya ngayon kanina na pinag-usapan natin about the preconceptional counseling. No, dapat hindi ka pa buntis, naka-multivitamins ka na. And then, kinocontinue siya during the first three months. Ang pinaka-importanting part ng pregnancy natin is the first three months. So, yun yung dapat na... So, ano, importante yun. Three months before ka maging pregnant, you have to prepare your body. Yes. So, paano yun? Siyempre, you supply the nutrients that your body needs to boost your immune system, to also make sure that your reproductive system is healthy. So, importante pala ang folic, not only yung iron and the calcium. Three months during or uh, during the pregnancy also is also important tama po ba oh, so yon ha next question okay um next question kapag po ba ligate gano gano ho ba ka risk na magbuntis ang babae sa labas ng matres paano po maiiwasan ang cesarean po ba need pa din magpa-check up kung nakakaranas na bigla na kirot sa part ng tahi Okay, ang ligation. So, ang ligation, it depends on the, the technique. There are different kinds of ligation. So, yung, di ba yung matres, di ba the usual picture ng matres and then the fallopian tubes? Yes. And then the ovary. So, pag sinabing ligate, pinuputol lang yung fallopian tube. So, pag ang putol is less than 1 centimeter, Pwede, kang, pwede siyang mag-connect ulit. No? Mag-recanalize ang tawag namin doon. Since nag-connect siya ulit, yung part na yon it has a scar. No? May peklat yon So, kadalasan, pag nabubuntis, tumitigil or kumakapit doon sa peklat. Kaya nagkakaroon ng ectopic pregnancy. So, usually, ang ginagawa ko sa ligation, meron tayong, either I remove a big part talaga, no? more than one centimeter, or, Tinatanggal ko yung edge. 
no? Mm-hmm. Di ba yung pinakadulo ng fallopian tube? Di ba it's just a tube and then sa dulo nakikita yung parang kamay na ganun? Yes. So ako yun, tinatanggal ko yun. Mm-hmm. It's called a fimbrioplasty. So pagka yun ang ginawa mo, yung chances na mabubuntis siya is almost zero. So minsan, nabubuntis, uh, sometimes wrong technique. No? Minsan, hindi fallopian tube yung natanggal, but uh, yung may tinatawag kaming round ligament, which is also like a tube. So, minsan, pag hindi, kunyari, hindi niya masyadong nakita, na, may nakita lang siyang tubular part, tas yun yung niligate niya. So, hindi ligated yung fallopian tubes. No? So, sometimes, yun yung nangyayari. And then, the chances na mabubuntis ka after a ligation is highest during the first year. So, kung nakalampas na yung isang taon at hindi ka pa nabubuntis, then chances are, tama yung pagkakaligate sa'yo, maayos yung pagkakaligate sa'yo, and the chances that it will fail is very, 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 very low. No? And then about the cesarean section, um, di ba hihiwain ka, so mak- makakat yung skin. It depends, no? pwede yung pagitna, pwede yung fan and steel or the bikini cut. So, imagine niyo lang siya parang tela. No? Pag hinat, hiniwa, tapos tinahe, hindi naman siya kinabit na hibla per hibla. Diba? Kinabit lang siya ng buo. So, there are nerves, may mga ugat na naputol. So, pag malamig, yung ugat na isa, mag, mag, uh, magkocontract siya this way, the other, yung isang ugat na nahate, magkocontract this way. So, parang nangyayari, parang naghihilaan sila. Ang nagiging sensation, parang tinutusok-tusok yung scar. So that one, it will never go away. Parang habang buhay mo na yon na meron kang ganon. Kasi hindi naman siya kinabit na yung ugat na to at ugat na to, ikakabit siya ulit. No? Kinabit lang siya ng generally. Ang sakit pala nun. <laughs> Napapangiwi kami ni Miss Annie dito, Dok. <laughs> Kasi for <Ooh>. life. <laughs> Lalo na si Annie po. <laughs> Tatanong ko pa lang sana kung hanggang kailan yung sa so, for gusto life. Mo. <laughs> no, for life na siya. <laughs> ah, sige. Tuloy natin to. Gusto natin to, eh, di ba? <laughs> oh, next question, Miss okay. Annie. By the way, uh, is about the cesarean section. Um, I've mentioned earlier na healthy mommies make healthy babies. So part ng healthy outcome is a normal delivery. So meron lang kaming reasons na na sinisiis na hindi kasalanan ng mommy, no? Like breach, yung kanina na banggit. Kung nakadating siya sa hospital earlier, na CS yun eh. Kasi yung breach, yung puwet una or pa una, sinisiis yes, so. yun, no? Or yung placenta previa, yung, yung placenta yung naunan. All others, they are considered... Um, normal pregnancy. So, if you have a healthy mommy and a healthy baby, ang natural outcome dapat is a healthy, normal pregnancy. Sometimes, hindi kumakasya. Diba? Nasi CS kasi malaki yung baby. So, kaya, bakit lumaki yung baby? No? Unless yung husband is uh, malaking tao na sumunod dun yung size ng baby, kadalasan kasi, the baby would confirm to the size of the mother. Dun siya nakatira eh. So, bakit lumaki yung baby? Kasi, ano, poor nutrition. No? Si mommy, hindi healthy yung choices. High in carbs, palaki ng palaki. Eventually, yun. No? Kaya mas CS for that. So, si mommy talaga? Twins? Uh, depends. Kasi, not all twins CS. Kung ulo sa... Katulad parehong ulo yung nakapresent, pwede siyang mag-normal delivery. Normal delivery. I see. So, ayun ha. The key word there is always yung healthy pregnancy is the healthy delivery, di ba? And siguro, para lang ma-ensure natin na healthy yung ating pregnancy, again, dun tayo papasok na i-ready natin yung katawan natin, kaya nga lagi natin sinasabi na dyan papasok yung supplement natin, dyan papasok mga distributors or members natin, yung produkto natin dito sa Q-Dynamics. Ihanda ang mga katawan bago pa magbuntis at habang nagiging buntis yung babae. O, ready ka pa, Ani? Okay, next Ayaw question. Ayaw mo na yatang magbasa. <laughs> Nangingilo na si Ani. <laughs> next question. Okay. Ah, alin po ang mas safe kapunin? Babae or lalaki? Alam mo, may tanong ako dyan sa tan... <laughs> Ang tanong ko, alin ang kakapuni? <laughs> Alam ko, parang aso at pusa eh, no? Sinong papayag? <laughs> okay. Um, 
simpler actually ang process of vasectomy o yung pagpuputol ng daanan nung ano nung sa lalaki no uh, ah. kasi iniisip nila marami silang iniisip about that no ang una nila iniisip baka daw mawawala na yung urge no the sexual urge it's not kasi ang sexual urge comes from the hormones the testosterone and then the signal comes from the mind, di ba? Brain. Oo, oh, oh, the brain. So, yon. Tapos yung iba, iniisip nila, wala, nang, wala na sila mapaform, no more ejaculate. So, paano daw matatapos? Di ba matatapos na naman pag nag-release, di ba? So, eh, wala na eh. Paano yon? Hindi, no? You will still have, uh, you will still form semen. Ang wala lang, sperm. Meron kasing gawaan ng sperm, no? Somewhere doon sa balls ng lalaki, nandun yung gawaan ng sperm. Tapos meron ding gawaan nung seminal fluid, nung yung pinaka-liquid, no? And then they would meet somewhere. Magmi-meet sila somewhere, magmi-mix yon para pagdating dun sa penis, magkahalo na yung seminal fluid and the sperm. Mm -hmm. So ang gagawin, ibablock yung part kung saan sila magmi-meet. ba? Diba? So meron pa rin seminal fluid. So lumalabas pa din. Meron pa rin erection. Meron pa rin lahat, all the other things. Ang wala lang yung sperm. No? And uh, so it's a simpler procedure kasi ginagawa siya sa office, sa clinic. It can be done in the clinic. Hindi kailangan ipasok sa operating room, hindi kailangan. Ano? So it's a, it, and then they will make very small incisions. Maliit na maliit na hiwa lang. They'll just get the tube, yung tube nga na nag, ano, nadaanan ng sperm to meet. So they will just get the tube and ilalagit nila, I, uh, babarahan nila yon, no? Then they'll do that to the other side. Ang ano lang, ang downside lang noon is pag nagawa siya, hindi automatically pwede na, no? You have to have 20 ejaculates or 20 times muna na magpalabas yung lalaki and then on the 20th time, i-check yung seminal fluid i-check kung wala ng sperm. Kasi pwedeng naghalo na eh, may mixing na. Mm -hmm. no? So, katulad ngayon nila gate, pero nakamix na yung fluid. Diba? So, pwede, siyang, pwede pang makabunti. So, Parang takes, may natira pa. Oo, oh, oh, may natira mm -hmm. pa. So, 20 ejaculates after the 20th, i-check kung merong pang sperm. Kung wala na, then that's considered safe. Yung sa babae kasi nalagate ngayon, bukas kung okay na siya, pwede na eh. No? Safe na siya kaagad. So, to answer that, alin yung mas... Easier. Easier talaga yung sa lalaki. Mas easier yung sa lalaki. Oh guys, sa inyo pala yung easier. <laughs> so, ha? Maliwanag ba? Mag-give in na kayo. Kayo pala yun. Sacrifice. <laughs> Pinahirapan nyo kaming mga girls. <laughs> Affected. Okay, going back to Annie. <laughs> okay. Next question. Ang dalaga na 20 years old ay nag nagpipils na agad para hindi siya magbuntis agad. Ang dalana, ang dalaga. 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 Okay. <laughs> dalaga na 20 years old. Lang. Okay. Malaki po ba ang chance na masira po ang kanyang matres? At if magplano na siyang magbuntis, hindi po ba siya mahihirapan na makabuo ng baby? Posibleng... Anong posibleng sakit po ang maidulot ng pag-take niya ng pills kahit wala pa siyang anak? Okay, ang pills actually very safe siya. So kung 20 years old ayaw pa mabuntis and she's taking it, that's okay. No, it's actually very safe for her. Ang pills they found na nakaka-protect siya against certain cancers like cancer ng ovary. So ibig sabihin, if you're taking the pill, yung chance mo na magka-cancer sa ovaryo ay mas mababa. Okay? Yun nga lang, pag naka-pills ka, ibig sabihin nun, sexually active ka. Di ba? So, kung sexually active ka, you have to have regular pap smear. Okay? Nagpa-pap smear, hindi dahil naka-pills, pero because she is sexually active. So, same din yun with all sexually active women. Naka-pills ka man or hindi, pagka sexually active ka na, you have to have pap smear yearly, kahit walang nararamdaman. I just want to add, okay, aside from that, that's actually giving you the help of the doctors, di ba? Pero again, let's go back to the topic wherein our body can actually do the work on its own. Tama ba yun, Doc? 
di ba? Because your immune system has its own immune cells that does all the cleansing, the detoxifying, and then the strengthening. So, sabi ni Doc, once a year, once a year natin ginagawa yung mga pop, pop smear na yan. Pero again, by taking products, like for example, yung mga detoxifying products, yung mga cleansing products, ano-ano yan, meron tayong mga ganyang produkto. I want to emphasize na yung Miramin Q natin, ang dami na namin pong narinig, nabalitaan, na mga babae, for example, no, na nagkakaroon ng pro uh, problema sa reproductive system nila, yan po ay isa sa mga sinasabi nating very powerful at napakagaling makatulong in terms of not only strengthening the reproductive system, but also doing that cleansing. So aside from the yearly, kailangan natin i-strengthen yan. Kailangan mag-take po tayo ng Miramin Q+. Yan po yung dapat na ina-add natin. No? Kay babae or kay lalaki. No? Pero ako, highly recommended. I have friends na talaga namang may problema sa, sa kanilang reproductive system after taking Um, check-ups, regular check-ups, nagugulat sila kasi yung mga nagiging problem nila sa uterus nila, lalo yung may mga polyps po, Dok, yan po, very, very common sa amin yung mga bukol-bukol na malilit na yan. Nakukuha natin yan na nagugulat tayo kasi after having the laboratories, nawawala yon Even the doctors are surprised kung bakit nangyayari yon Bakit? Sa atin po, sa mga Q-Dynamics members and distributors, even sa staff, sa atin hindi tayo nagugulat kasi common na natin yan na naririnig. Kaya tayo po dito sa Q-Dynamics, lagi nating pinopromote, lalong-lalo na aning product na the best dyan? Miramin Q. Huwag natin kalimutan yon Okay? Okay. Next question. Okay. Ano po bang mas safe gamitin for safe sex? Condoms? Pills or implants? Um, all of them in terms of ano, effectiveness in preventing pregnancy, pare-pareho sila. Ang condoms lang, it has added protection for STDs. Kasi ang pills and implants, they do not protect against um, STDs. Would you like to add? Naku, huwag akong tanongin mo dyan. <laughs> Nakakainis ka. <laughs> Tanongin ba ako sa topic na hindi ako expert? Hello? <laughs> Sige, Doc. Yung answer mo, yeah, accept ko po yun without any violent reactions. Go in. <laughs> Sige, next question. Ah, same. Ano po ba magandang gamitin contraceptive para po sa mga first time makipag-sex? Hindi ko alam kung tama ba. <laughs> Sino nagtanong niyan, matanong ko lang. Pakibigyan ng pangalan. Ilan taon na siya? Okay. Um. <laughs> May parental consent ba ito? Sige, Doc. Okay. Joke lang yun. <laughs> Nagulat din, natigilan din ako sa tanong. Nakakatakot, ano? Kailangan nating malaman kung sino, ilang taon na siya. <laughs> okay. Um, yung condoms, ang maganda kasi dyan, no preparation, no? Lalo na sa mga Gen Z ngayon, no? Baka hindi tayo masyado makarelate. Nagkatitigan sa bar. Di ba? Uy, type ko, type ko. <laughs> Tapos, May nagkaya ba, Doc? May ganun po ba? Sabi nila, nabalitaan ko dang din. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi natin to alam. <laughs> Oo. <laughs> Nagkatitigan tapos, 'di ba? Tapos nagkayayaan. So yung condoms, uh, okay siya kasi you can use it anytime. No preparation, walang kailangang masyadong maraming ginagawa. No? So you're on. If you are in a committed relationship, still young, and then nag-decide kayo, you can start the pill. Kasi nga ang gusto ko sa pill Regular monthly menses, and then some na mga bukol, not all ha, but may mga ibang bukol na nakokontrol niya. Tapos, um, it's woman control, no? Control ng babae. Parang yung, kasi yung condom nakadepend yun sa partner. And then, um, especially among Filipino men, most don't like to use condoms kasi less to yung sensation. So when the woman is on the pill, controlled niya yung 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 ano niya yung destiny niya yung life niya di ba hindi niya kailangang mag ma, ma, makipag-usap makiusap sa partner niya oh please let's use condom di ba 
uh, self-directed. Yung ano. Pero kung, um, kung medyo matanda na, uh, I mean, uh, yung medyo mature na, no? we would prefer na the DMPA, yung injectable or the implant. Injectable pala, mas maganda. Kasi medyo matanda na daw. <laughs> ano ba yan? Pag may na natanda ako. Mature daw, mature. mature. <laughs> Hindi ako sa Gen Z daw ka. Doon ako sa medyo matanda na. Okay, next question, Annie. Okay. Hi ma'am, good morning. Two years na po ako nagtitake ng pills. Wala naman po ako nararamdaman na masama sa katawan ko. Tanong ko lang po, wala po ba yung epekto sa katawan natin or masamang epekto sa mga organs po? Uh, wala. But the pap smear has to be done. Yearly pap smear. So kahit nag nagpipills, kailangan talaga sa mga babae maging regular ang yearly pap smear. Ha? Para yan sa inyong kalusugan, wag na wag ninyo. Doc, um, bago natin to ituloy, meron lang akong gustong ipasingit. Kasi... Um, kanina na pag-uusapan na, na mention ko di ba yung about sa reproductive system about yung mga di ba common yan yung mga nagiging sakit natin yung may mga polyps okay o kaya naman uh, nagkaka problema tayo in terms of menstruation ako rin uh, personally nagkaroon ako ng problema diyan so gusto ko sanang matawag kasi alam ko meron ditong isang tao actually dalawa sila eh <laughs> dalawa sila na pwede kong hinga ng sharing today Diba? Pero hindi ready yung isa. Pwede kong dalawa, ba? Diba? Aside from us doing this, isisingit ko lang sila kasi feeling ko napakaganda nang pwede nilang i-share. Itong taong to, just recently, kakatapos lang niya ng kanyang general check-up. Okay? For, for what? Kung ano man yung general check-up na yun, mamaya i-share niya sa atin. Pero gusto kong i-mention niya yung about sa reproductive system niya kasi alam ko, meron siyang problema doon. At malamang, maraming makaka-relate sa atin dito na mga girls. Yung isa, ininegotiate ko pa kung pwede kong tawagin later on. Pero right now, can I call in Miss Darlene Gillian because I know she has a powerful testimonial about Mira Mintiondes. Ayan, buti na lang, willing siya to share. Miss T, Ayan. share mo sa kanila yung kwento mo sa amin. Sige, ganto Para tuluyan kayong maaliw sa akin at tuluyan nyo kung mahalin, sisiraan ko yung sarili ko, ha? Okay? Sisiraan ko yung sarili ko para makinig kayo. Doc, you listen, ha? Kasi hindi ikaw ang kinuha kong ubi kasi nahiya ako magpatingin sa'yo. Yun, ano tawag dito? Anyways, yan. When I was young... When I was young, noon yun. Okay. Tanta ba to? No, yun. When, noon pa yun. When I was young, I was diagnosed with like polycystical ovaries. Okay? Meaning left and right ovaries ko talaga. It's like polycystical. I would menstruate like once a year. Okay? Once a year and then I would have my period for like three months. Ganon. It was that bad. So, yung ano ko nun, yung menstrual cycle ko nun, tsambahan. Alam mo yung dadatang ka ng hindi ka handa. Tapos, ang tagal-tagal na panahon, eh napakahirap nun, di ba, sa ating mga babae. Every time you wear sanitary pads, usually pag matagal na, nagkaka-irritation, di ba? So, yung dusa na yon, I had to have my period for like, uh, yun, mga tatlong buwan minimum. Tatlo, apat na buwan. Tagal nun. Uh, I was like, maybe in my... Mid-twenties up until my early thirties. So, tuloy-tuloy yun. Hanggang sa, I do not know what happened. Even if they give me pills, even if they give me pills, irregular pa rin talaga. As in, irregular pa rin yung menstrual cycle ko. Years passed, tiniis ko lang. Wala lang. Eh, wala namang epekto. Wala naman akong ginagawa. Eh, di, tsaka hindi naman, wala pa sa isip kong mag-asawa. O, oh, eh, di, hanggang ngayon, wala. O, oh, di, <laughs> sige lang, di ba? <laughs> Anong tawag dito? The anyways, or the, as I aged, okay, as I got older, uh, nagpa-check ako 2019. 2019, nung na-admit ako when I had pneumonia. So, nung chinek ako, nag-transvi ako ulit, I was still polycystical, doc. Sinabi, lumabas pa rin dun sa ano ko na I was still polycystical. Pero, ang kagandahan lang, it's not alarming kasi hindi lumalaki yung cyst. Meaning, it's still there. Not until daw magkaanak ako. That's what my doctor said. Pag nagkaanak, that's the only time na naturally mawawala siya. Di, syempre, di ba, when I had pneumonia, na-addict ako may Raminq. 
Di ba? Meramin Q. As in, meramin Q was like what I would take on an everyday basis. Isang beses lang sa araw. Pero hindi ko binibilang yung patak. As in, sirit. Sirit sa tubig, tapos inom. Tapos, nitong mga 2020, I started taking glutabivane. So, to cut the long story short, eto yung cute. Nagpa-check up ako sa ubi ko. Siguro, that's like three weeks ago. Just three weeks ago. Yes, bago lang yan. Oo, three fresh weeks ago. Fresh. Kasi lahat sila, they were all worried it. So they were all asking, huy, kamusta yung check-up mo? Kamusta yung check-up mo? Ano nangyari sa check-up mo? Ano ba? Ano ba? Ano ba? Alam mo, ang nakakatawa, promise ha, di Pops Mira ko, ang matres ko pang 18 anyos. Ikaw na! Oo. As in, it's clear, it's intact, okay? It's intact, okay? Pang virgin daw. Tapos, anong tawag dito? Hoy, mga lalaki dyan. Kinig na kinig kayo. Pagkatapos nun, alam ninyo, even my ovaries. Nakiulit nga yung pang virgin dyan. Parang virgin lang. Mamaya maraming okay. bibili ng miramis. Wait, 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 wait. Even my ovaries, alam nyo, there is no trace of cyst. As in, it's fully, fully clear. Kaya ako nagtataka. Now, kasi I follow doc the 28-day cycle. Eh. I follow the 28-day cycle. Tinanong nga ako ng doktor, sabi niya, you were saying, sino yung doktor mo dati? Eh, taga same hospital, taga medical city din. Sabi, anong tawag dito? Sino yung doktor mo nun? So, pinakita ko yung, ano ko, yung records, pinadraw yung records. So, nakita niya, oh, yeah, you had polycystical ovaries. Alam mo ang sinumbat sa akin ng doktor ko? Ito tabato eh. Ito tabato. Ito tabato. Kaya nahirapan tayong hanapin yung ovaryo mo. But my ovaries and my uterus, it's like clear, intact, cyst free Pang 18 anyos nga daw talaga. So sa mga babae dyan, okay, sa mga kababaihan dyan, ang ano ko lang, yung mga nagsasuffer, yung mga merong mayoma-mayoma, yung mga merong bukol-bukol or what not, Ah, Miramin Q yan, di ba? Yung star product na tinake mo and Glutabive. So in three years time, talagang ginawa ng immune system mo ang trabaho niya. Di ba? Sabi ko kay Doc Carmel kanina, Doc, possible ba yun? 2019 and now 2022, after three years, kaya ba talagang mawala yun? So the body work on its own, right? So very, very... Congratulations kay Miss Darlene, pang virgin! <laughs> ang kanyang uterus! Oh my gosh! Ayan, sa mga girls dyan, kung gusto nyong ma-achieve yun, alam nyo na, okay? Meron pa tayong second batch of questionnaires, pero bago ang lahat ng yan, nasyak ba kayo doon? Uh, itutuloy ko yan, and let me just give to you the next raffle items of our lifestyle items, and then tuloy natin yung ating Q&A portion. Congratulations to our three winners of that lifestyle items. Huwag kayo magalala kasi meron pa pong tatlong maswerte, mas malalaking prices ang inaraffle natin. Maya-maya lang yan. Pero syempre, ituloy natin ang mainit at masayang tanungan with Doc Carmel. Miss Annie, our next questions? Okay, ne next question. Ito, napakainit nito, promise. Meron po bang risk sa health ng kababaihan kung walang sex life? Kayo mga tingin nyo sa akin, ha? <laughs> Bakit ba? <laughs> Dok, meron ba, Dok? Makikinig akong maigi. <laughs> um, as I've mentioned earlier, no, yung pinaka-introduction <clears throat> ko, um, humans are made for sex, no? And then, not just for procreation, pero as for recreational sex. So, ang possible, unless nga she's happy with her situation, ang pinaka nakikita namin dyan is the mental health effects. Sometimes kasi it's not by choice. No? So, sometimes you, you have no sexual partner, not by choice. No? You want Take it. Take so, note, not by choice. 
Hmm. So, yun yung, yun yung, ano, one of the, <laughs> take note, mental health. <laughs> so, that's one of the considerations namin. Pero if the abstinence or the celibacy is by choice, so, I suppose, okay lang. Pero in terms of physical health, wala naman. It doesn't lead to an earlier menopause or menstrual irregularities. Wala naman. Wala naman pala? <laughs> Pasabi ng audience dito, bakit meron bang something? Wala po. Wala po. Natanong lang. Hindi po ako yung nagtanong. Ani, please continue. Next question. <laughs> okay, next question. Pero, Doc, usap tayo later. Yun lang. Go ahead. Okay. Tanong po ito ng pamanggin ko na na-opera po last year na ectopic pregnancy. Kung may effect daw ba yung operation niya sa lakas ng menstruation niya ngayon. At kapag nagkaroon siya ngayon, after two weeks, meron na daw po agad. Kung normal lang daw po ba ito na kumikirot yung tahe, like yung kanina po, lalo na this rainy season. Okay, yung tahe, normal lang yon Kasi nga, as I've said, may mga ugat na na... Lifetime na yon sabi niya kanina, uh, yung effect ng operation. Yeah, yeah. And then... Not just the, the, the ectopic CS, for all other operations. Lahat ng no? operations. Actually, even your scars. Sa napapansin mo yung peklat nyo, di ba? Kumakatikate. Uh, para may tingling sensation when it's cold. No? Because of dung sa mga ugat nga na na, uh -huh. na na hiwa. And then about the ectopic pregnancy. Yeah. Uh, yung ectopic pregnancy is just like having a ligation. Sa fallopian tube lang yun. So, nire-remove lang yung fallopian tube. And then yung fallopian tube, it has no hormonal... Uh, effects, no? So, hindi dapat niya maapektuhan yung haba ng pag, ng menses mo, yung lakas ng menses mo. So, she has to have a check-up. Mm -hmm. Sabay daw po kasi yung ectopic pregnancy niya and yung ligate. Oo. Uh -uh. Pwedeng na-ectopic yung one side, so they mm -hmm. remove that fallopian tube and then they ligated the other part. Nagkataon lang siguro na nagawa yon and then she had the hormonal uh, dis disturbances. Hormonal disturbance kasi yung nagkakaroon ng irregular menses. So, pwedeng, as she ages, di ba, habang tumatanda tayo, hindi na ganun kaganda yung hormone regulation ng katawan. So, I think just just revert to a healthier lifestyle. Um, yun yung usual. Um, ako kasi, personally, I don't like um, taking medicines. That's why, ang real, ano ko, real... Man, life mantra ko is to maintain health. So, yes. mas gugustuhin kong mag-take ng micro and macronutrients kaysa uminom ng gamot. True. So, I would suggest na she maintain her health. Balik niya lang dun sa uh, optimum health niya and then see if mag-auto-correct yung, yung menstrual irregularities niya. In short, make herself healthy again. Go back to the natural system ng kanyang katawan. Ibalik niya yung health niya. Paano, bay? Sabi ni Doc, mag-take ng micro and macronutrients. Siyempre, dyan papasok ang ating mga products kasi dyan, dyan panalo yung ating mga produkto. Lalong-lalo na yung ating Miramin Q. And of course, yung Q Green kanina na mention ni Doc kanina, yeah. di ba? As a source of folic, uh, iron, and calcium din. Okay? Next question. Okay. And of course, syempre, for, for, for the guys, selenium po, huwag natin kalimutan. Hindi natin yan na, na focus the last time, no? pero selenium pala from Q Green is the best for the male's health. Next question. Good day po, Doc. Tanong lang po, ang three days po ba na menstruation ay normal lang, pero mahina po. Gusto ko na po kasi magbuntis, kaso ganun lang po regla ko minsan. Minsan po, delay pa. May, marerecommend po ba kayo na gamot para sa akin? Obis din po ako at cesarean sa unang baby ko. Okay, um, obesity leads to menstrual irregularities kasi nga um, most of the hormones, they have a cholesterol backbone. So pagka mataas yung level of cholesterol mo, nagkakaroon ka ng hormonal imbalance, oversupply naman ng hormones. So if you have a hormonal imbalance, you have menstrual irregularities. Pag irregular ang menses mo, you have ovulation problems. No, hindi ka, most of the time, pag obese, irregular menses, they are not ovulating. So, pag hindi ka nangingitlog, hindi ka mabubuntis. Okay, so, I would suggest, step by step lang, 
bring down the weight to a healthy level. Kahit hindi pa yat, basta at least to a healthy level. Boost the um, health. And then, pag nag-correct kasi yan, especially since nabuntis siya. Diba? She had a previous pregnancy. So, ibig sabihin, yung capacity to get pregnant is there. So, she just has to revert back to a healthy state. And of course, ano yung pasok na produkto doon, guys? Miramin Q. Pero syempre, don't yung, forget the herbiotic the slim. Herbiotic Advanced. Slim. Diba? Pangulaban yan sa obesity, correct? Para maibalik niya yung kanyang build. And of course, para magkaroon siya ng healthy pregnancy. And syempre, isama natin dyan yung Q-Green. Malaki rin ang tulong niyan sa atin. Okay, next. Next question. Ano po ang dapat gawin sa bukol, sa puwerta na parang laman? Dapat pag binasa mo yan, with feelings. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ko masyadong nag-get. So, let. <laughs> Joke lang. Uh, it depends. Marami kasing bukol, no? So, when you mean bukol na nakasilip dun sa puwerta mo and then uh, medyo may edad na, that is an organ prolapse, no? Ibig sabihin, lumabas na yung matres. So, bumaba yung matres, lumabas na siya through the vagina. Wala nang magagawa doon. We just have to remove it and tatahiin. Bakit niya, ba siya lumabas doon? Pasisikipan. Ba siya lumabas? Gusto niya nang tumakas. Hindi na siya masaya. Bakit kaya? Hindi na siya masaya doon. So, ano po yung remedy o operahan? Oo. What we do, actually kasi yung vagina, yung puerta is a muscle. No? So, kaka-stretch niya, pwede niyang ma-reach yung ano, na magiging lax yung muscle. Parang dinidescribe ko nga siya yung parang garter ng brief. Diba? Pagka sobrang hinila mo, eventually. Garter ng brief talaga. Hindi garter ng panty ito, ha? Garter ng brief. Yung nagbe-bacon. Oo, yes. Mas makapal kasi yun, diba? So, pagka-bacon na siya. Yes, buwa. Oo. So, it's because na nag-lax yung muscles. So, ang ginagawa namin doon, tinatanggal na namin yung matres kasi bumaba na siya. And then, we tighten. Parang virgin ulit. Oo. Oh. Pero, dahil meron na tayong testimony para mag... Hindi, kanina, di ba? Para mas maging virgin ng inyong uterus, ibalik natin yan through Miramin Q. Meron na tayong testimony. Ano ba kayo? Para hindi maging bacon yan. Oh, Kasi Q bakit? <laughs> di ba? If you take Miramin Q plus Glutavive, it actually promotes regeneration of cells. Nagpapabata kasi yan ng mga body cells, uh, kaya actually, ganun. Actually, I, uh, I would suggest also the glutavive kasi pag nag-lax nga yan, di ba tatahiin lang namin, uh, babawasan and then tatahiin, it can become lax again. So meron talagang umuulit na operation. Babalik. So, yes, kaya we really promote after... Uh, after ma-operahan, to take the glutathione. O, oh, diba? Kailangan talaga siya. Kailangan. Tapos, mm -hmm. Sakto. May glutavive tayo, diba? Ano? Kasi wala nang matres. Ah-ah. Uh Hindi. -uh. Oh, so, take note ha. What you need is Miramin Q, pero kailangan din para maiwasan yung bacon at saka yung mag-ulit yun. Ano nga tawag ulit dun, Dok? Sa, sa sakit na yun? Buwa. Okay. Kailangan is gluta bive. So, itatandem natin yan. So, tamang-tama talaga yung testimony kanina ni Ms. Darlene for the reproductive system. Meron pa bang tanong? Uh, Grabe, Dok. Blackbuster last four ka, questions. ha? Napakadami ng tanong. Last four. Okay, from Heidi Galvez. Paano po ang pag-take ng Q-Green para maging healthy ang egg cells ng lalaki? Sperm. Ah, you say lame. Sperm, sorry. The egg cells. The egg cells. Sperm. Sperm. Sperm cells. Nalito po siya. Nalito, nalito. Nalito, nalito. Wait lang, nalito siya. Akala niya may egg cells siya. Mali. Sperm yun. Sino to? Sperm, sperm. Okay, so now you know. Na-confuse, na-confuse. Okay, Doc. Okay, you can take it two to three times a day. And then... Kailangan din kasi to, um, nasabi ko na rin before, no? uh, you have to maintain a healthy lifestyle. One of the 
mga nag-weaken ng sperm quality, no? It's number one, smoking. Number two, drinking. Tapos, um, soda or sugar. So, dapat uh, hindi nagsasoft drinks. Less, less than yung sugar. So, uh, so, limit these things and then take the Q Green two to three times a day. Take note. Healthy lifestyle daw. Diba sabi sa at lagi natin, lagi natin sinasabi, healthy lifestyle comes into four. Yung, of course, complete. Complete rest. Yung tulog na kompleto para lumakas ang resistensya mo. Pangalawa, proper diet. Kaya dyan po mapasok yung supplement, uh, food supplements natin. Pangatlo, exercise. And then pangapat, yung alin? Kailangan po, make sure natin na iniiwasan natin yung mga health risk natin. Ngayon, sinasabi ni Doc kanina na para maging healthy yung reproductive system, lalo ng mga lalaki, huwag nating iasa yan sa Q-Green lang. Sabi niya, take at least two to three capsules every day. Pero kung tayo po ay laging umiinom, naninigarilyo, no? wala rin pong mangyayari doon. So, kailangan po susundin natin yun, ha? Tatandaan natin. And Next. one more thing pala. When you're trying to get pregnant, once you enter the fertile period, usually nag identify kami ng mga between 5 to 9 days eh. Mm -hmm. Every other day contact. So, kailangan may vigor yung lalaki. Kasi yung iba sabi, pwede pang isang be. <laughs> Parang hindi nila daw kaya yung every other day contact for 5 to 9 days. So, doon, itagdag na rin natin si Miramin Q para may energy. <laughs> Oh, oh di ba pasok na pasok? Para ma so, para mapanindigan nila yung 5 to 9 days pala. Oh, na-contact. Miramin Q kasi para mas? May energy. May energy. Okay? Kaya endurance, kumbaga. Kaya ng powers nyo. Alam nyo na. Si, si lalaki at si babae ba to? Pareho sila, no? Both of them. Okay. So, yung pala, tatagay muna kayong dalawa bago nyo ito gawin araw-araw from 5 to 9 days na Miramin Q. Tama ba? Tama ba, Doc? Okay. Ito, next question. How true po na kapag... Bakit parang hindi nauubos yung tanong? Last three. How true po na kapag ligated ay nagiging mahilig o hindi? Hindi siya totoo. Okay. Actually, pag naligate, we just remove the, uh, binablock lang namin yung fallopian tubes. Na sabi ko na rin kanina na fallopian tubes don't produce any hormones, which means hindi niya na-affect yung libido. Most of the time naman ang libido kasi is, starts from the mind. No? Ang, napa, ang sinasabi ko lang lagi, kung mahilig ka, mahilig ka talaga. Kung hindi, hindi. Ngayon, kung mahilig ka, pero hindi ka ligated, Natatakot ka pa, baka mabuntis ka. So, hindi ka pa muna masyadong bigay hilig. Pero pag sinabi na sa'yo, tinanggal na yung risk of pregnancy. O, oh, pwede na. Yung joke nga namin, okay, unli ka na. <laughs> Di ba? <laughs> so, pag mahilig talaga, syempre that, that gives you the green signal na, okay, pwede na ako kasi hindi na ako matatakot na Diba, minsan may, Psychological oh, din kasi diba? yan, diba? May anxiety mm -hmm. ka kasi na, oh, nilabas mo ba? Nag-condom ka ba? Nag yes. Uh, pero pag natanggal na kasi all those fears, then, um, yun, detretso na na. But it doesn't affect talaga. Ibig sabihin, nandun na talaga dun sa babae. Yung sexual drive, no? Some women mataas ang sexual drive, some women mababa. Some women, um, as they age, tumataas yung sexual drive, no? Nung bata, hindi masyado mahilig. Pero nung ngayong nagkaedad, ang sabi nga nila, ang peak ng sexual drive ng babae is the age of 40. 40 pataas nagpipik yung sexual drive. Samantalang sa lalaki, 18. So dapat sila yung magmatch. <laughs> Kaya pala, may alam ako, nagmi-meet sila halfway. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Next question! Okay. Mamaya ako, ano pa masabi ko dito? Uh, oo nga. Um, ano po ang ideal age para magpa-ligate? Any age. As long as um, you're psychologically prepared. Ang lagi sinasabi, ang ligation has no side effect. Wala siya in terms of health. Ang isa lang ang drawback niya, and that is pagsisisi. No? You regret it. Bigla mong na-decide, ay gusto ko pa palang magka-anak. So, what are the chances na gusto mong magka-anak? Number one, 
unstable yung relationship. Tapos naghiwalay kayo, nakahanap ka ng bagong partner. So si bagong partner, gusto mong bigyan ng anak, pero ligated ka na. So magsisisi ka. Number two, unstable financial, ano, naghihirap kayo. Ang hirap, ang hirap ng buhay, paligate na. Eh biglang nanalo sa loto. So hindi na mahirap, di ba? Tapos biglang, ay sayang, pwede na, ano, gusto. Or biglang gumant buhay, di ba? So yun yung mga, ano. Pangatlo, um, young age. Kasi, Bata ka pa, 20, 24, nag-decide kang papalagate na ako. Hindi mo alam what life has to offer. Eventually, nag-decide ka na, ano, na gusto mo. So usually, yun yung mga factors na ina-explain namin. You can get ligated anytime, pero pag-isipan mo kasi it is a lifetime, lifetime decision. decision. Mm-hmm. So, wag, basta to the point lang na wag mong pagsisihan. Ayun, meron pa. Okay, we're down to the last question. Okay. Galing kay Mr. Guapo. Sino to? Ah, saan to? Sino to? Patingin, Patingin nga. Sino to? Patingin nga, na-curious ako. Oo nga, sino to? Mr. Guapo? Bago mag-end. Last question na eh. Dali, ah, sino to? <laughs> Ayun, nag-CR. <laughs> Nagtago. Ah, saan? O, oh, sige. Ayaw magpakita ayaw, ni Mr. Ayaw, Guapo. Ayaw, Ika-judge natin later yan, Ani. Okay. Tanong ko lang po, ma'am. Natural lang po ba na ang isang lalaki sa tagal ng ilang buwan na di gumamit ng babae? Gusto lang. <laughs> Hoy, ang ingay nyo. Hindi namin narinig yung tanong, ha? <laughs> hindi ko narinig yung tanong. Excited na excited ko. kayo. Okay. Ulitin natin, Ani. Ulitin ko, Annie. ulitin ko. Oh. Natural lang po ba na ang isang lalaki sa tagal na ilang buwan na di guma, gumamit ng babae, kusa lang lumalabas yung sperms? <laughs> <laughs> Dok, eto po ba yung tinatawag na pagsasarili? <laughs> Pakipakiliwanag lang po. Pero, ba't kusa? <laughs> <laughs> Kaya pala nag-CR. Kung saan lumabas? <laughs> okay. <laughs> o, oh, makinig kayo. Ang saya-saya nyo. Wait lang, may sasagot pa si Doc eh. Game go, Doc. It depends. Kasi ang arousal, uh, it starts sa mind nga. So, kahit na, di ba minsan you get aroused, kahit na hindi mo hinahawakan, no? So, just, at, just with your mind, may kita mo, tumatayo siya. Tapos, minsan, naglalabas siya. And it doesn't mean... <laughs> Dok, ayusin mo nga. <laughs> Pakihayos lang. Dok. Nanood na yun. Nakinig sa intensive. Hindi ako ready sa mga ganyan. Pakiulit. <laughs> And it doesn't have to be, ano, uh, it doesn't have to be na dahil wala kang ginagamit. No? So sometimes, kahit naman meron, kahit naman you have regular sexual intercourse, pero talagang, may lig uh, you get easily aroused so san nang, nangyayari talaga na meron so normal lang yon uh, it's normal so kahit hindi do ano yun do hinahawakan akala niya kasi kung kapag hindi hinawakan hindi na normal oo uh, uh, baka nagugulat siya na uh, uh, automatic so pa sana isip mo <laughs> that's normal uh, uh, okay oh malinaw na mister guapo <laughs> ha <laughs> naghanap tuloy ako ng guapo wala lang wala akong makita <laughs> Joke lang. <laughs> Madaming guwapo dito. Okay. Okay, so I, I think we've, we've do, we're done with the yeah. questions at napaka-saya naman ng tanong na to. Ayan. Thank you, thank you so much. Of course, we want to thank Miss Annie for helping us today. Palakpakan naman natin, our IT manager, also for that wonderful tech, technical training a while ago. And of course, our favorite resource speaker, The beautiful Doc Carmel. Sana po, Doc, maulit na naman ito. Now, we had so much fun with this um, training and lecture. And of course, sa mga nagpadala ng tanong, online yan at saka live audience, hindi ko ma-pinpoint kung sino sa kanila ang mga nagtanong ba, mamaya mabubuking ko din yan si Mr. Guapo. Hahanapin natin yan. <laughs> okay. Anyways, yun lang po. And thank you so much for that one. Eh, siyempre, bago tayo mag-end, eh, tatapusin natin itong ating pong seminar and lecture for today na bibigyan natin kayo ng isa pa pong paraffol. Ibibigay natin sa inyo, may tatlo pa. Tatlo pang maseswerteng mananalo ng lifestyle item. So, 
Ayan na po, ibigay na natin yan. Ayun, congratulations sa lahat ng matiswerte ngayong araw na to. Huwag kayong mag-alala. Okay? Mas marami pang biyaya ang hatid sa inyo ng Q-Dynamics. Yung mga parafol na yan, pampasaya lang yan ngayon. Pero syempre, hindi matatawaran ang biyaya o ang mga swerteng dala ng Q-Dynamics sa ating lahat, lalo na sa mga members natin. Tama ba yun? Syempre, ang ating pong buhay ay unti-unting binabago ng Q-Dynamics. Ngayong araw na to marami tayong natutunan sa technical training at lalo na sa ating resource speaker na si Doc Carmel. Pero ngayong araw din na to maraming inihatid na magandang balita ang ating sales director bukod sa ating pong mga projects. no Meron tayong ongoing na promo na inilabas ngayong araw na to At ang magandang balita na officially Q-Dynamics is going... Global! Ngayon pa lang po, ladies and gentlemen, kinokongratulate ko na lahat ng nandito, lalo na yung mga bisita natin. Sana po, bago matapos ang araw na to, you can also make your own decision. Meron po kaming invitasyon para sa inyo. You can either accept this invitation to join the family of this growing company, a global company that is destined to change not only your health, but also your lifestyle. Sana po, ngayon pa lang, you can make that decision. Hindi po kayo dinala ng Panginoon ngayong araw na to dito sa Q-Dynamics ng walang dahilan. That will serve as a challenge for everyone. I hope everyone learned so much from all the speakers today. And for that, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. And see you all again next month for our upcoming intensive training. Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much. Bye. Goodbye, everyone, and thank you. Don't say